Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing one of my projects that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks and I'm going to be building my own BMO case. I'm going to be building my new computer and I thought it'd be fun to kind of put my computer into this custom case I'm making. For those of you who don't know what BMO looks like, he looks kind of like this. So this is my BMO scarf my mom made for me. It's pretty awesome, I love it, but it's kind of falling apart so I kind of just put it away for a little bit. But he looks like this character or, you know, from the cartoon like that. That's so stupid! So I'm splitting up this project into four different videos, the first video being pre-planning, second video being structure, third video being the kind of skin or metal sheets that I'm using for the exterior, and the fourth video talking about the types of computer components that I'm building into this case. So I took a lot of inspiration from Bob Herzberg's Build Your Own BMO blog and any BMO related graphics or pictures that I really I could find on the internet. And this is what I came up with. So I wanted to upgrade my computer and instead of going the kind of Raspberry Pi route to assembling this BMO, I thought I would make a PC case build. So my BMO is going to be composed of the core structure, which I'm going to be using some aluminum angles I got at Home Depot, and I'm going to 3D print some custom parts for the top and bottom of this assembly. If I get enough interest, I'll share these model files in a link down below. For the skin or housing of my build, I bought some 22 gauge uh, sheet of steel and I'm just going to be cutting out my, my panels from some aviation tin snips that I bought. Now I bought some offset aviation tin snips because this is what's going to allow me to make a continuous cut straight down a sheet instead of needing a metal break to cut it. The case is designed to hold the core components of a small form factor PC which includes uh, a small power supply or a PSU, the mini ITX small form factor motherboard, the RAM, storage which is like the hard drives or solid state drives, I'm gonna host a video card in the body, and just a couple of fans for ventilation. Like any other computer case I also need some front IO uh, which I'm planning to take from some of the older computers I just have laying around in the house. Some of these components include the, the power switch as well as the indication lights, front HD audio jacks, an SD card reader, and some USB 3 ports that I'm ordering off of Amazon. Some additions that I'm still not certain of are mainly how I'm going to be mounting uh, my hard drives inside the case, as well as what I'm going to do for BMO's face, because I was thinking about putting a screen behind it, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that yet. Mainly because I'm not sure if I want to connect this screen to the PC, or if I want to have a separate Raspberry Pi controller inside, because I've never actually worked with Raspberry Pi modules or Arduinos for that matter. So I'm still not sure if I'm going to take the laser route and just paint on his face or I'm going to stick a cutout in there. So engineers and comp site people, please, I need your help. <laughs> so I need at least an 8 inch screen at the aspect ratio of 4 by 3. Uh, so far I've seen one on eBay or Amazon for uh, about like 80 bucks. Um, it's a uh, 800 by 600 8 inch screen which I thought might be suitable, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it yet. And I'm not really sure how I'm gonna hook up the power to that, so some help would be great. <laughs> That's all there is for this week. If you're interested in my journey that I'm taking to build this custom computer case and want to see the progress of it, I'll be posting weekly videos, hopefully until I finish this project. So make sure you subscribe to see how it just turns out, because I'm pretty interested too. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in next week's video.